Jeremiah finally forgives very dark man for coming for him. <laughs> now you sue. Now you dare forgive. <laughs> very dark man, a bad guy. Indeed, he has nothing, absolutely nothing at all to lose. <laughs> If you come for her, you lost. If you don't come for her, you lost. <laughs> That's according to very dark man. Well, according to Prophet Jeremiah, he said, Very dark man. I, Prophet Jeremiah, fufu yi, extend forgiveness to you. I am withdrawing the court case against you following the teaching of Jesus Christ. Who preached peace and corrected sinners? I forgive you. May you learn from your mistake and walk in righteousness from now on, my son. Very dark man never seek for forgiveness. God forgives those who seek for forgiveness. If indeed you are following the preachers of Jesus Christ, you know, to say God forgives those who do not seek for forgiveness. He said, come to me and I will forgive you countless times. Now, you the forgive person. Make it continuously see they drag you up to now. I was told lawyers have, have uh, advised that guy. That see, what if whatever legal action you intend to take against very dark man, eh? Very dark man will disgrace you in court. That was what I was told. The court, uh, lawyers have advised him that, see, that first person who represented you, the first law, lawyer who wrote that petition, sacked that uh, lawyer because that lawyer just want to make money. Lawyers are meant to tell you the truth. Tell you the truth. This case, so you might win it, too. you might not win it. But some lawyer, they don't care as long as they pay their money. Hmm? So, Prophet Jeremiah has forgiven a very dark man. Very dark man never asks for forgiveness. So. But Prophet Jeremiah deemed it fit within himself to forgive very dark man. Well, we are going to read more of that and also go deeper into the issue. Let's check out this video of a wife. This video of a wife who destroyed her husband's passport as soon as they landed in Nigeria. He said, "Let me see how you are going to leave this Nigeria." And I'm here, are you for this country? <laughs> I don't know what the man may have done to her to deserve this kind of treatment. But let us take the time to watch this video. <laughs> Just a comment. Yes, Commas. If you want to sleep there, you sleep there. Come and go this Nigeria. You are a lot of. Well, Allah. <laughs> well, Allah. Voila, bros, just take a easy. No, just take, take, just take a easy. Okay. No, 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 that one don't do. That one, no talk, you be mad. You be mad, you be mad. As no talk, as no talk, you be okay. As no talk, uh, as no talk, be okay. No, I say you be for side flight, sis. No, I say you be for side flight, sis. They all be about three kids, so you say, this is Nigeria, and I hear you day. Nami Tierra, nothing they happen. We don't know the full story. And we cannot easily tell this what and this is what happened and this is not what that happened. So we don't really know. So maybe the guy was maltreating her over there. They used passport, they woke up. Or maybe now the woman gave the guy stay. And the guy called him misbehave for there. So she was just planning, say, if this guy enter Nigeria, this guy will go back to that country ever again. So we do not know. It might be the guy's fault. It might be the fault from the woman. So we do not know exactly what happened between these two. So hopefully, someone will clarify all those things for us so that we, that are still new, or so that people who are intended to get married can learn one or two things from their story. You know, that's the whole purpose of us 
coming online, talking and catching crows. So that we can also learn. So that we won't fall in, in, into that big trap of some wicked husband or some wicked wife. Mm-hmm. Who do not deserve to be taken abroad. Three kids. Now let God know what happened. It might be the man's fault. It might be the woman's fault. So I do not know exactly what happened. Terry passport, I don't think is 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 good, but I don't know what actually happened. So let's watch out, guys. So that being said, let's go back to very dark man and list it to some uh, to some uh, testimonies coming from uh, people who have analyzed some lawyers who have analyzed this very dark man issue, and even some people say if I volunteer to represent very dark man in court. There was this man that swing to action, immediately offered himself as a consultant to very dark man. Whenever Jeremiah choose to pursue that case, so they are ready to defend very dark man. Let me stay. Good day, guys. Uh, my quickly greetings. I bring you greetings. I want to quickly say that um, I volunteer myself to be part of uh, the legal defense team of the very dark man in this his suit with. Um, uh, prophet Jeremiah, the prophet with miracle keys, miracle water, you know, and all of that. Yeah, there's still poverty in the land. Simple question What are the ingredients? The team don't bring suit, lawsuit of one billion naira. They laugh. I beg. So please, I want to be part of that defensive, free of charge. Make we also, because this young boy, you see where they stay now, money no day. So let us volunteer, those of us that should know, as lawyers, let us volunteer and go and defend him. I want to be a volunteer. I also urge civil rights lawyers to come volunteer, you know, to be part of this uh, defense team. But that said, NAVDA, now question they ask you now. I expect NAVDA, reputable DG, DG, I expect by now NAVDA could have issued a statement. We do or we not do. But anyway, that's on the side of NAVDA. But really, in Nigeria today, we need to not just focus our gaze on bad political leadership. The bigger monster of bad religious leadership is staring us in the face. Since the church leaders are not ready to, genuine church leaders are not ready to do anything, it behoves on us now to also, you know, expose these people. Thank God, now the man go court. Instead of just explaining, now go court, say in the sue, now defamation. And you know, the defamation, there are ingredients that you must prove, and there are also you know, ingredients for the defense justification. So make we see how the soap take the wash away, you know, bad luck or cure poverty and all of those things. I also saw the miracle keys and then, uh, you know, gifting of 15 million to the wiper. Anyway, when we reach court, we, we, let's make we keep all of this in the cooler because, you know, the, the matter go hot. But I pray, I pray, I pray. Nobody should beg Prophet Jeremiah to withdraw that suit. The matter don't the court. Make we go, make we go, or or program for court. See you there. Do you know one of the reasons why we are begging our senior prophet, prophet uh, Jeremiah, to drop this case? I've consulted with a battery barrister close to me. Okay, I just want to end it there. That how do you see this case if it's going to be contested in the courts? Do you know out of the three of them, they say almost the same thing. They say. The prophet will be so much abused, disgrace in the court of law if this case proceeds to the court. That the very dark man evidences, and with the way very dark man is taking this case, if this case appears in the court, that the man of God might be rubbished. So when we are saying that very dark man is not fighting churches, is not fighting the body of Christ, this is a pure mistake that was made by this our senior prophet. And he should accept the mistake and move on. After us, TB Joshua has been dragged. Nobody sued anybody. Adeboye has been dragged. Oye Dekbo has been dragged. Kumuye somehow has been dragged. Sam uh, Adeyemi has been dragged. Uh, who again? Make sure their name. Apostle Suleiman has been dragged. Uh, David Biomian has been dragged. Uh, Pastor. Uh, this pastor for dunamis he has also been dragged so many men of god they have been dragged by blogger one way or the other so taking very dark man to court or see very dark man a lot of these are going to come out how many of you knew that very dark man can go to the extent of coming to order for the 
the, the so-called controversial prayer water and whatever. And at the end, he will use them in this manner. With the way very dark man is going on this, every Christian, forget blaming dark man. Let's cast the stone to the right direction. The prophet supposed not to have seen sue dark man to court. Secondly, this item are supposed to be removed from wherever they set them at the church. That is my stake. And I stand for my word. No apology for anybody. I'm just be frank. And you can call it on your microphone and on your camera and be frank as well. I don't understand this your frankness, guy. Percy lie. They want catch up for lie. You say make it no go God. I don't understand. Percy lie, they dupe Nigeria. They say let their cast stone to the other side. This man shouldn't have sued. So what of you, you can't come out all the product. You know, goes go to the park, but they go to church. After this guy don't, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. You see, say, human beings in this Nigeria, they love to be deceived. They really love to be deceived. They cherish to be deceived. They beg to be deceived. They want to be deceived. They love it to the point that if they do not find one deceitful thing from someone a day, they might end up losing their life. That is how bad it is. If you speak truth in Nigeria, do not last long. They love to be deceived. Ah, nobody said this guy control of people before. Chai, you do us. I rest my case on this very dark matter. Chai. Ha.